Hey everybody, welcome to the nightly vid. Uh, today's nightly vid is going to be done a little live. We're going to have some news tomorrow, so we'll be aware of that. Uh, what we'll see on the futures is we're going to have RevStrat 122, two, so likely we're going back up there, given that you have your nice broad information up in here, drawn right to left. They're trying to go up there. And VO2 NASDAQ on the futures. You're going to see it actually went three today and now it's above expanding the range as long as it stays above these highs. So this is something we'll want to know about above 2760.25 or if it reclaims then you might have some issues. And this is mostly coming from uh, Microsoft and Google moving in the after hour session with some gapper if we go in here. So you can see Google had some pretty good earnings and what could have told you about that? Well, the 2-2 month and up they go. So they're trying to go back up there, 193.36. I'm not quite sure what they're trading at here. Yeah, so might have been another 10 bucks. We'll have to see tomorrow with the gap up, how they disseminate that. If we go to Microsoft, you can see that's moving up as well. And it's gonna have a similar look to what Google's doing. Went 2-2 last month, and it's going to be reconfirming that likely above this, 441.85. So we'll see tomorrow on the gappers, and as the week progresses to end off the month, are they buying that stuff, or are they going to sell the gap up? And that's kind of the main goal tomorrow. Since it is Tuesday night, we'll take a look at the strat attack. So on the strat attack, we're going to see a lot more tech and communications that went up to start the week. Uh, we can start the bigger ones. We're going to have Google, which is gapping, Meta, which is gapping. Uh, with Microsoft, I imagine if we go to CRM, we'll see two up, two up to start the week. It is towards the top of its broadening series, but they're closing out of it. So if they stay out of that, that could get really good. You got this nice long green bar on the month with the quarter in force trying to go up there, 318.67. AMD also started two up, two up to start the week. And you'll have this nice broadening formation you are trading back through. So here it is here. See if we can't get up into the top of that thing. Uh, full time for continuity there. We'll see ARM. And my internet just cut out. It's kind of been a theme this week. All right, here is ARM. 2-2 two, two week. And you'll see confirming a two up month, confirming last month's 2-2. Two, two. So also starting off pretty strong with AMD, still having some magnitude to go. We will see Marvel. Inside week up, two up, two up to start, confirming it's inside month. We'll have to be aware that this is going into exhaustion risk, but we got all-time highs up and left, so they can still do that as well. And then we will see in the Bitcoiners, we've got some of those things going up to start the week. So Bitcoin, two up, two up, and then going one in the overnight session currently. But you'll have this monthly going, and for the macro vid, here's your RevStrat quarter Bitcoin. So you can see this just shy of taking all-time highs out. So we want to see that. These two bars did go outside of that. So anything above this stuff is going to be range expansion, which is what we're looking for with full-time from continuity. Tells you things like coin, which did go slightly red today. But let's say Bitcoin does well overnight. These sellers in here this morning could get blown out with the broadening formation expansion to the highs, and it's still back through previous range. So we'd like to see can that hold up there. Uh, if we go to things like the miners, CLSK, a little bit of profit taken out of gap up. So we'll see this, the slight poke up and then back in. The question is, does it reverse or can they firm it back up tomorrow? If we go to Riot, a little profit taken on the gap up, but still going. And this is one I posted to Twitter specifically uh, for the 2-2 month and coming back through that range. And you're also going to have things like WULF. Just slight triangle out today, so we'll see if that firms back up. Long green bars and all, all that fun stuff. And then MSTR, which has been the outperformer, is slight profit taking, but still trending up. So Bitcoiners and then your info techs, and we'll have the communication services, Google Meta and uh, tech, Microsoft gapping up tomorrow. We also have a little bit more tech, AI, with the momentum hammer day to confirm a 2-2 week to confirm a 2-2 month. I believe. Yeah, so 2-2 two -two hammer month in force AI it did hit monthly magnitude, but 2-2 two -two week has a new magnitude higher. Around 28, momentum hammer day above 2657 would try and get it doing that. Um, and then there's some nobodies in here that I'm not too interested in myself. Do -do -do. I quickly get through them here.
Yeah, so that, that's about it. Uh, there is going to be, yeah, China, so we can talk about that. China, except it did gap up sell closer to a PMG back down tomorrow in KWeb. Uh, you'll see things like JD closer to the PMG back down. So not bad setups for tomorrow, especially if we don't gap. You can get that 2-2 signal to the downside. And if they do firm up with an inside day, might have a slight Momo Hammer Foo 2. Um, if you go to Baidu, eh, all right, Baba, eh, all right, closer back down. So you'll have some broad informations in there to play off of. Specifically, JD is a really good one to be trading with some good volatility intraday. Uh, outside of that, on the downside, we're going to see on the strat attack. On the downside this week, it's going to be more uh, kind of sparse in there. You got some energies. Uh, CVX, two down, two down to start the week. It is rev strat week, still green on the month, so you've got to change that. And you can see they've kind of been chopping them up in here. Looking, You'd want to see that lower low in here, but you don't got much to go after. If you have Oxy, same thing. You don't got too much to go after, just taking those guys out, potentially. Shell. Same thing, you don't got too much to go after. Maybe take those guys out. You can see it could go outside month, which maybe that causes some you know bigger movement in here, PMG to the downside, but more so I'd be interested next month, right? Set up that shooter. Uh, if we go to then the staples slash discretionary, Pepsi starts off the week, 3-2 puke, two down momentum shooter month. We also have Coca-Cola, puke in to start the week, confirming its month, so Coke. Got some PMG in here, and this is one we mentioned on Twitter as well. 2-2 two, two month in force with the staples starting the new quarter, and, you know, they're bringing it back in. Red gets redder. So we got the rest of the month to keep looking at Pepsi and Coke uh, as they trade together. And then, you know, there's not too much else I can talk about in here, at least as far as what we're looking for. Quickly get through them just to make sure we don't miss anything. You know, RTX could be a good one in there. You got the slight triangle poke up two two week back down. So that will be about it. And if we look at strat attack, we'll have AI, meta, Goog, gappers tomorrow. If we look on the downside, Pepsi, Coke, Staples. And then, you know, on the upside, I totally lost my train of thought here. I'll have to go back into the video and uh, I'll let you guys know at the end of the video, go back and watch it because I'm not going to have it here. Uh, that being said though, going into tomorrow with the gappers, we're going to, you know, play the gaps. And the last thing I want to show you here today is I was working on something and I wanted to get your guys' opinion. So since you guys are the ones who are sticking around and pretty much here every single day, it would be cute or it would be awesome to hear what you guys think. So I have a four minute clip of a video that I'm going to have coming out, hopefully this week, given I can do that. I kind of started throwing it together today. So there's still some editing mistakes in there, but that being said, I'm going to play it. And then we're going to end off the vid afterwards. Why does price action often feel like chasing a mirage? You think you've got it figured out, only to watch it slip away again. Most traders spend years trying to make sense of it, and many never do. I don't want advice from anybody. It's crazy. Look at, it's like, look at my P&L. Oh my I just, I just blew, I just blew a f***ing brain. Oh my. Rob Smith, a seasoned floor trader at the Chicago Exchange, was no stranger to this puzzle. Of 20 years of looking at these charts until for nearly 30 years he was on the chicago trading floor moving in sync with the strongest and weakest stocks to stay alive at the beginning it wasn't until a decade in that he stumbled upon a simple yet overlooked truth about how prices really move the price so discovery broadening formation as soon as that news came out the market popped up then puked and then gone to the highs. This concept is as surprising as it is powerful. It's not just for the pros. It's so straightforward that Rob's even taught it to teenagers. Picture a 14 year old making trades that fund new Apple watches, their first car, or even contribute to their college fund, all before they can legally open their own trading account. Today, we'll dive into Rob's journey, starting with a critical moment during a Fed announcement, a day when the market was frantic. 
So in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Kind of like a little teaser, I guess. Um, but that being said, uh, for anyone that's skipping to the end here, strat attack, we'll have it here. Go to the beginning of the video to get the bullish strat attack. I did not have the, uh, uh, what's the word, foresight to write it down before I got rid of the list of my finger swim. So I'm going to do that afterwards. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the nightly vid. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning trading the gaps. And for anyone in stat, my internet I'm still having slight issues. So I'm going to... Call in from my phone uh, tomorrow just to make sure that we have a connection going the whole time. But that being said, see you guys then. Adios and have a great rest of your night.